Hey dudes and girls, we're hitting them wheels today. We're getting a massive leg workout. And what better way to get a leg workout than to start with squats, the number one leg exercise you can perform. So what we're gonna be doing is just start nice and light, warming up, really pushing those hips back, getting those hamstrings nice and tight, help support that knee joint. And we're going just parallel, maybe a little bit below. So once you start getting, hitting that below parallel point, the glutes are gonna start firing up a little bit more and it's gonna become a little bit more difficult, but it is good getting that fuller range of motion. We're just gonna be pyramiding up in weight. So we're gonna start with 135, then we're gonna slap another 45 on each side, 225, so on and so forth. And as we pyramid up in weight, we're gonna be decreasing the reps. So getting that nice pyramiding scheme. And we're going somewhat heavy today, not our heaviest, um, but as you can see, we're, we're kind of struggling in some of this heavier weight. So it's been a little bit since we worked a heavy leg workout, so we just want to start it off right by doing the squats. We've had a lot of questions asking to make a video showing our one rep maxes, and that's exactly what we plan on doing. As Brandon said, not going our heaviest today, but we will, and look for that one soon. So now that we got squats out of the way, we're moving on to trap bar deadlifts, or as some people know them, farmer squats. So what you'll notice in a deadlift is it's more front loaded, so it's gonna be putting a lot more stress on the hamstrings and lower back. But with the farmer squats, with the trap uh, bar squats, you're going to be involving a little bit more of the entire leg because your hand placement is now more at your side and it's gonna be evenly distributing the weight across the quads and the hamstrings. So it's a little bit more of a pushing motion than just a more push-pull motion like in a deadlift. So what you wanna do is load up the bar with some weight and it's gonna be very similar to a squat where you're gonna be pushing the, the hips back. It's gonna tighten those hamstrings up and as you reach the top position, really extend the hips forward to get in that locked out position and then just reverse the motion to bring the weight back down to the bottom position. If you want a better tutorial on these ones, check out our Facebook and we'll have a single exercise tutorial on the farmer squat slash trap bar deadlifts. And if you don't have a trap bar available, but you'd still like to perform the farmer squats, what you could do is just grab a pair of dumbbells, put it to the left and right side of your body and mimic the trap bar with the dumbbells. It's a great alternate exercise. Next exercise on the list is going to be dumbbell RDLs or Romania deadlifts. This is a great exercise to help isolate those hamstrings and what you'll notice is the hips are being thrown back and the difference between Romanian deadlift and straight leg deadlift is kind of what the name explains. Straight leg deadlifts are going to be, the legs are going to be locked out, they're going to be straight, whereas Romanian deadlifts, the knees are going to be slightly bent but stationary and this is going to relieve a little bit uh, extra stress off the lower back and hamstring so you can get a little bit farther range of motion and for the people that have tighter hamstrings the Romania deadlift or RDL is probably going to be your better choice of exercises if you want to try to isolate the hamstrings and you're questioning if you should do straight leg deadlifts or Romania deadlifts we would say choose Romania deadlifts over the straight leg deadlift so with these ones, you're gonna push those hips back and you want to bring those dumbbells down all the way down to the bottom position, keeping the, the back straight. But what you wanna do is really feel that intense stretch in those hamstrings. And once you reach that position, you're going to kind of almost like a rubber band effect. You're gonna be slowly bringing it down to the bottom position and then you're gonna kind of, in a controlled manner, rubber band up to the top position in more of a faster motion to really fire up those hamstrings. So now that we've isolated the back of the leg with the hamstrings, we're going to isolate the front of the leg with the quadriceps. And this is just going to be leg extensions. Very simple, you're in a seated position and you're gonna extend those legs straight out in front of you and get a nice squeeze in those quadriceps. Do these in a nice controlled manner. Some people do have problems with these. If you do have any issues in the knee joint, you might wanna stay away from them and just, um, or stay very light with the exercise and really use them in a very controlled manner. Uh, we've been doing them for years and our, our knees are still very healthy, so we can go pretty heavy on these ones and really help isolate those quads and really pump them up and get a lot of blood flow in there and involve a lot of muscle fibers in the process. Can't forget the calves. They are definitely a forgotten body group a lot of the times. You'll do an intense workout and then they're just kind of one of those things where you either forget about or you just tack them on at the end of any exercise and you're just like, well, I guess we gotta do calves. Try to hit those calves constantly because that's gonna how they're gonna grow. And they're a very simple exercise. It's pretty much just plantar flexion and dorsiflexion in the ankle joint. So those mean meaning that the dorsiflexion is the heel dropping down so your toe is more up in the air. So that is gonna be the stretch position as you bring that 
that weight downwards because you're gonna feel that nice stretch in the calf and then you're gonna use the plantar flexion by pushing your toes into the ground and raising up in the calf and getting that nice full contraction in that calf muscle or gastrocnemius is the correct term of the muscle and get that nice squeeze of the top position. A lot of people make the mistake of bouncing the weight or just doing it in a very quick manner, not really controlled. What you really gotta do is focus on the nice slow tempo. Tempo can be a major thing in a lot of exercises. So with this one, you really wanna focus on that tempo. Nice slow controlled manner and that's what's really gonna help build those caps. All right, dudes and girls, that wraps up our legs workout. Got quite a few requests for this one. Pretty simple leg workout, just busted it out really quick. The gym we're working out right now doesn't have all the typical equipment available, so we got creative. Had a few little unique things, such as the trap bar. So for those of you who have never seen it before or have never used it, hopefully it's something that you'll be able to try out soon. It's a really great piece of equipment. Also, me and Brian are still working really hard on that new series. We're gonna start shooting it in about one week, so look for that very soon, in addition to our animated episode, which we're super pumped with. It's coming along great. Here's a few stills to check out to see how it's coming along. Until next time, leave some suggestions of maybe some other workout videos you'd like to see us do, but look for those new series really soon. We're really excited, and until next time, stay buff.